buzz for this fight, and round one is now underway. A clash of styles in some respects between a grappler and a 5-2 player type, but certainly the more well-rounded fighter has no problem engaging on the ground. No, he doesn't mind grappling, but he also has the ability to fight on the feet, something the grappler does not really feel comfortable with doing. He seems to be behind the eight ball a little bit, but let's see how he manages getting this fight to the ground. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Yes, sir. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Barrow gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. Big kick lands. So again, the combinations have been largely kicks from him tonight, and it's certainly been working for him. We don't see that very often. Normally, guys are punches. This guy leads the dance with his kicks. Checks the leg kick. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice leg kick. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Misses again with a right punch. out of range with that right hand. What a fantastic wrestler. Great takedown. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. Back mount now. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your opponent, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you give up that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. The Korean Superboy gets the tie clinch here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Everything works off of the jab. Doubles up on it there. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Fourth we go here. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Nice leg kick land. Outstanding kick there by Barrow. Knee to the body now. That one appeared to be blocked, though, by Choi. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Let's get that takedown and win the round. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Connects with the punch there. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, he gets the takedown late in the round here, DC. That could be pretty useful when it comes to the scorecards, potentially. Very useful when it comes to the scorecards, but also a testament to his conditioning and his cardio to still be throwing takedown attempts at the end of rounds instead of winning fresh. Fighters back to their feet here. Straight right hand, no good. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Barrow's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Right
right hook to the head block. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, second round is getting okay, underway. Round, two, round one, not the round of the year so necessarily, fun. but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. We can have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, and there's another leg kick for good measure. So doing a really good job with that weapon here tonight. And if you're trying to slow your opponent down, mission accomplished so far. When you can land that many leg kicks, you start to affect the movement. You start to affect the hands. Everything changes when you're blasting someone over and over and over with leg kicks. And you start to see the damage, not only in the legs, but in the facial expression right. of his opponent. Oh, big punch lands. Body kick. Back and forth we go. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're gonna sit there at the drive thru hey. order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target. The Korean Superboy gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. A oh, little single collar tie there. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Ooh, what a head kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice straight punch there by Chor. And they separate. Again going back to the jab just out of range. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Joy gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Yeah, it looks a little wobbly on his feet. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He's just out of range with the right hand. All right, so there he goes, continuing to land that jab. When they put this highlight together, it looked like it was stung a little bit. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Nice strike. I mean, he's cutting him down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 
Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. His misses are entertaining. Oh, collar tie. Right hook attempt. That's a miss. And that one certainly found the target. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All right, that's the end of round number two. Puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talking us about it. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. Next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous frame. Yes, it wasn't a firefight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. He hurt him. Oh, effective strike there by Chor. Hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, Barrow's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Alright, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Another shot lands upstairs. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice defense there, huge block. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Man, these guys are throwing back and forth. Oh, big left. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bear's watching. That's gonna hurt this opponent. Wild swing there. Beautiful strike. Whiffs on the right hand. Oh, that right hand is on point. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Pushing forward now with strikes, and now he's able to secure the takedown. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Oh, nice connection there with the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose. Oh, man. Got the single collar tie. Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's unable to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that it's going to be a stand-up fight? Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really? Man, he's a trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, oh he might be out. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's 
He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And really starting to make these shots count. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Back to the stand-up now. Both fighters upright. That's a big strike right there. Just misses with the straight right. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Straight right, he misses. Whoa! Gets up again here, but hurt. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Stop for this contest at four minutes, 43 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout